It's Friday, February 17, 2023, out here on the patio making a video with the beautiful little Nugget. We like to call her Nudge, AKA Nudge. She wanted to come out and say hi to everybody. There she is. Hopefully. So we're gonna shoot a little video here today. Hope everybody stays tuned. So an absolutely stunning Friday late afternoon here in Southern California. And uh, I wanna make a quick video before I take off. Uh, I'm gonna share a few articles with you, recap on the markets today, give you my opinion. Please feel free to give me your opinion down below in the comments. Also, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and please, most of all, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's the best thing you can do to help get the, the, the word out, to help get the warning out. But without further ado, let's get into what happened today. Markets closed a few hours ago. Dow Jones closes up more than 100 points. NASDAQ was down around 68 points. These markets should have been absolutely crushed today, but of course they're not because the markets are completely detached from reality. The markets now don't seem fearful of a 50 basis point rate hike in March. I truly believe now that we have a very, very good chance that the Fed is gonna raise rates 50 basis points in March. I think we're gonna see the Fed raise rates for a much longer period of time, hold rates for a much longer period of time. And I think, uh, 50, uh, I, I think 50 basis points is very, very possible now, not 25, but 50 basis points. And markets don't seem to care. They really don't. They were flat today, but you would think that now that the reality of a 50 basis point rate hike coming in March, you think the markets would sense this and um, would uh, not be doing so well. Last night, I was watching uh, the futures. They were down and somehow some, uh, tell me what the good news was today that turned the Dow around, but What's interesting here is the 10-year bond yield last night was 3.89% when I went to bed. It might even have gone higher. Maybe it was 3.9, 3.91. I don't know. If you know, please comment down below. But I saw it at 3.89. 3 Today, as I make this video, it's 3.81%. Who is buying the debt? And it was amazing to see as the Dow was down today uh, that the 10-year the bond yield was going down and down and down and the markets were coming back and coming back and it's just the same old song and dance again. But again, we have a very fake rigged market means absolutely nothing. Uh, what really, what we all need to be paying attention to is what's happening to the US economy. Another article today on CNBC, average 401k balances dropped 20% in 2022. A lot of people continuing to lose wealth. This is the wealth transfer, ladies and gentlemen. They're continuing to lose wealth, uh, but few investors flinched. Vanguard re research shows. Now, I think what's more alarming than people losing 20% in their 401ks is the median median balance was $23,376 uh, at the end of last year. And that saw an annual, uh, 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 annual drop of 23%. People believe that they're going to retire because they have a 401k. How many people just go, oh yeah, my 401k is doing great. I'm going to retire uh, and, and, and I've got my 401k and there's just no way. Uh, what's shocking is the amount of money in these 401ks is nothing, absolutely nothing. Median balance, $23,376. The average American, the majority of this country is not prepared to retire. It cannot retire. There's no way they can retire. Uh, many people are going to work until they're in their 80s to survive because think about the median balance of $23,376. What is that going to, what, what is, what is $23,000 today? Now, granted, you want to give me $23,000, dollars we be more than happy to take it, but it doesn't really, it doesn't even buy it. It barely buys a used car at this point. It doesn't buy a new car, barely buys a used car. Uh, you couldn't even pay rent uh, in a dumpy apartment in, in Southern California for, for the year for with $23,000. It's, it's not a lot of money. And people believe uh, somehow they're going to retire because they have a 401k. Unbelievable. It really is. People are not prepared. And let's not forget about unfunded pe uh, pensions in this country. People believing they're going to be able to retire because they have a pension until that pension says, hey, we're only going to be, be able to fulfill 50 percent of our promises or 25 percent of our promises. People, you've got to be preparing for worst case scenario. The hedge today, recession signals grow as consumers struggle to pay bills. Bills. Currently, 40% of Americans are having trouble paying their bills. So 
they're telling us that things were transitory, that this is gonna be a rolling recession, it's gonna be a soft landing, the consumer is strong, the economy is strong, but yet 40% of Americans are having trouble paying their bills, 57% of Americans cannot afford a $1,000 emergency, 68% are worried that they would be unable to cover their living expenses for just one month if they lost their job. 72% of the middle-class families say that earnings are falling behind the cost of living. Does this sound like a healthy economy to you? Does this sound like something maybe you should be preparing for? What would you do if you lost your job? How long would you be able to hang on? How long would you survive? How about if your wife lost her job? How long can you cover the rent, the mortgage, the car payments, the credit card payments, the medical insurance, food, etc.? Credit cards, according to this article, are no longer just for luxury items and travel. For Americans, credit cards are now the difference between buying food and gasoline or not. We now have record high credit card debt and record high credit card interest. This is gonna be absolutely catastrophic for the average American. And it's gonna be catastrophic for the US economy too. And I think that this is gonna be big trouble for a lot of banks too. Banks that made bad loans uh, with um, uh, automobiles, uh, these banks that are allowing people uh, with huge balances on their credit cards, having multiple credit cards. And I think many people have reached a point where they know that there's no way out of this and they're, they're just gonna run the credit cards up and enjoy it to the very end until those credit cards are maxed out and shut down. Uh, I think a lot of people now are at that point that they're on, they know they're on borrow time, but they're gonna put gas in their car, they're gonna eat, they're gonna go out, they're gonna have fun, and they're gonna do it until they can't. Here's another one from The Hedge. The core of the economy, the middle class, is crumbling. The top 10%, especially the top 1%, and especially the top 0.0001%, uh, they have really benefited by all this central bank stimulus. And the average person, while the top 1%, top 10%, top 0.0001% all benefit from trillions of dollars of stimulus. The average person was happy, they were giddy, they were excited because they were getting uh, $1,000 in unemployment, they got a couple stimulus checks, you know, $1,500 here, $2,500 here, life's a party, they're buying cars and going out and eating uh, nice expensive dinners and, and taking weekend getaways, uh, and, and they, they thought it was great. And the average person has no idea what, to, what, to, what just took place. Uh, a massive wealth, wealth transfer. Uh, these people have been completely fooled, completely bamboozled, while these other people at the very, very top are laughing at you. They are laughing at you. All it took was to give you a $1,500 stimulus check or a $2,500 stimulus check while these people got trillions, while the, the billionaires got more billions and the millionaires got more millions. And these will be the people buying your houses when you default or when you have to do a short sale. These will be the people that come in and buy it all up because they got the money. You didn't. But they're also much smarter than the average person because the average person didn't save any of the money. They just went out and bought more dumb stuff that they didn't need. And then on top of that, didn't even pay their rent while they were out partying and buying cars and buying watches and, and, and buying God knows what. The key economic dynamic of the past 30 years is central bank driven credit asset bubbles. The only way the middle class has a chance, the only way the middle class can exist and survive is with a massive collapse. Because it's the top 10%, the top 1%, the top 0.0001% that hold those assets, the stocks, the bonds, the real estate. And when things collapse, and they will, they're gonna, su they're gonna suffer enormous losses. And I hope if you're watching this video, I hope that you're saving money right now. I hope you're putting cash away. I hope you're putting assets away. I hope you're paying off your debt and that you get in and you can get back into these markets. You can get into the real estate market. You can get into the stock market at a massive discount. I think this is gonna be a once in a lifetime opportunity. And if, you, if you're not saving money, if you don't take advantage of these sales, I, I think you're gonna be, I think you're gonna be a debt slave for the, for the rest of your life. I really do. This is gonna be a time where you either make it 
or you don't. And if you're not prepared right now to make it, if you're, if you're not taking action right now, uh, you're going to lose. You're going to lose here because there are too many people out there that know what's coming, that are preparing for this, that are going to take advantage of it. And they're going to, uh, unfortunately, they're going to be buying houses from the average American who wanted to continue to party, wanted to post on social media, uh, show us everything that they bought on credit cards, everything that they own on debt, their houses, their toys, their expensive dinners, the expensive drinks. And while they're doing that, uh, they're going, they have no idea what other people are doing. They are preparing for this wealth transfer. They're preparing to take your house, buy your house, buy your cars, buy your land, buy your RVs, uh, buy everything you're going to lose because it's all going to be on sale. The average American is going to absolutely get annihilated here. They're going to lose so much. And unfortunately, the, the, the future of America is going to change. There's going to be, I think, a lot more poor and a lot more rich and a lot less in between. Another one from the hedge today, San Francisco Bay Area housing market crashes, prices plunge 35% from the peak. Is this an indication of what is to come? The median price in the nine county Bay Area plunged by another 8% in January from December by 17% year over year and by 35% or $540,000 in 10 months from the crazy peak in March of 2022. Single family houses, in the Bay Area plunged 37% in January year over year. And if you think that this isn't possible where you live, you're delusional. I know there's a lot of real estate agents out there, a lot of mortgage brokers out there that would love to tell me that I'm wrong, but there's no way I'm wrong. Uh, this is gonna be a historic housing collapse uh, and it's going to be a historic economic collapse. But uh, anybody telling you that this is a good time to buy a house, that what's happening in San Francisco right now can't happen where you live. Yes, there are going to be pockets of the country that are going to feel much less pain. Uh, but there are going to be a lot of places, especially places like Phoenix, Austin, Texas, many parts of, of Florida, uh, Southern California here that it really accelerated over the last couple years here where we saw uh, property uh, prices going up, you know, 30 percent uh, year over year to think that um, this can't reverse, that it isn't right now. We're watching it reverse right now. And it, there, we're going to come to a point where this thing is going to accelerate down so fast it's going to make your head spin. And I know people just believe things go up forever. It's going to go up forever. It can't go down because the consumer, I'm told, you know, I watch TV and they, they tell me the consumer is strong and that the economy is strong and, you know, the Fed's going to come and save the day. So there's no way the housing market can, can, can go down. Uh, these people are absolutely delusional. You wait and see. We're, we're going to see. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, I hope nothing collapses. I hope that people don't lose all the equity in their homes. Uh, even though we have uh, around a half a million people that bought a house within the last year uh, already upside down in their homes. So we'll see how it all plays out. Look, I can afford to be wrong. The question is, can you afford for me to be right? So at the end of the day, if nothing happens, I have more cash, more gold, and more time. DraftKings. DraftKings stock surges after sports betting company boost outlook. They reported stronger than expected revenue and raised its outlook for 2023. You know, when I read an article like this and you look at the amount of billions of dollars that was spent uh, in gambling uh, over the Super Bowl, people are going to get what they deserve. And yesterday I talked about people knocking at your door when they're going to when they're going to need help, when they're going to need food, when they're going to need somebody to protect them, somebody to look out for their kids, uh, uh, they're going to need shelter. They're coming to your house. But these are the same people that you, you know wanted to post on social media their weekend vacations in Vegas. These are the people uh, that are gambling on football games. These are the same people. And I hope that you're all having the talk with your friends and family that, hey, you need to be responsible for you. You need to pre prepare for you. I cannot open the door and take you in. You need to right now prepare yourself. And when I read an article like the next one here, can LAPD, LAPD chief Michael Moore finally get serious about crime in Los Angeles? Uh, th this is this is what they're this is what uh, the LAPD is telling you right now. If you're in Los Angeles, don't dress nice. Don't wear expensive jewelry. Don't drive an, uh, an expensive car. Uh, don't leave uh, car chargers in your car. Don't leave 
uh, water bottles in your car because there's a high likelihood somebody will break in and take them. Uh, how does that make you feel when you're in, in Los Angeles? This is, this is what it's coming to. And, and so uh, think about how bad this is going to get as the economy continues to get worse. If the system can no longer send money for people to eat in this country, you know, like the 42 million people who are in food stamps and more being added to that. We look at the food lines across America, they get longer and longer. The food banks are running out. They're not getting the donations like they once did. It's harder for them to get food. More people every week are in those lines. What do you think this looks like as uh, they're, they're sending people now uh, food stamps, less money every month? Um, as inflation and food prices go up, people are getting less money. They're gonna get upset. Remember the old saying, this country is nine meals away from full-blown chaos. People miss nine meals, you're gonna have big trouble. And just think, if, if we have crime like this right now in this country where the Los Angeles Police Department is warning you, don't drive a nice car in LA, don't wear nice clothes, don't wear nice jewelry. Um, what is this gonna look like as things continue to erode? I, I, I think it's gonna be apocalyptic, it really is. Uh, another article, and I'll finish uh, with, with these last two. I'm sure many of you saw this one yesterday. Illinois Hobby Club believes Pentagon shot down their $12 balloon. So we shot down this balloon allegedly with $400,000 in missiles. What in the world is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, we are just so deficient, so out of control, uh, so mismanaged. Uh, I, I, I don't know, like, I don't feel as safe as I once did in my own country here in America. I don't feel as safe as I, I did years ago. I really don't. Uh, something is so wrong, without a doubt. Um, we got things flying all over the sky. Now, now possibly uh, some kid's $12 balloon. Uh, Four hundred thousand dollars in missiles. Uh, it, it's just it, it's unbelievable. And then this one from NBC News. I'm going to finish with this one. JFK terminal shutdown may last days amid power woes. Uh, so this terminal at JFK, this terminal serves a multitude of international flights. Uh, no power. What happened? Why is there no power? And when? I mean, I can't even remember ever hearing. And this is a major airport, JFK. When was the last time you ever heard of a terminal losing power for days? For days, let alone just for an hour? I've never even heard of it. I've never, ever heard of a terminal at an airport losing power. And this isn't going to be for a minute or, or a day. They're talking days. What in the world is going on? So we got planes crashing out of the sky. We got... We got trains every day now rolling off of the tracks, power outages uh, at our major airports. We got cyber attacks, cybersecurity threats. Uh, we've got grids going down. We got crime running rampant. It's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. To uh, anybody who thinks that we're not in a spiritual war right now, uh, please open your eyes. I pray for you. Please open your eyes and see what is going on. Uh, just uh, being an American here, watching what's going on, I've never seen things so broken. Uh, I don't have an answer. Uh, the only thing, when I, when I continue to read this stuff, and most people have no idea what I'm talking about because they're going to be watching a game tonight or they're going to be betting on a game or they're going to be posting on Facebook, uh, you know, maybe from uh, uh, Caesar's Palace uh, this weekend showing me their $25 cocktail, uh, which I, I really don't care. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be walking the walk right now. you got to be plugged into what is going on. you got to be doing your due diligence. you got to be doing your homework because this is going to affect you for the rest of your life. It's going to affect your kids. It's going to affect your grandkids. It's going to affect the future of this country. And if we're not paying attention, 
we're not going to be able to take correct action. Uh, we're not going to have the correct strategy on how to prepare for this and get ready for some very, very uh, bad days ahead. I wish I had better news. I really do. I wish uh, I, I could come out here, laugh, giggle, and uh, have a channel just showing you how great everything is. We're not there. And I don't know uh, when we're ever going to get back to anything normal or when we're going to get back to some good times. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't have some balance in your life. Doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and have some fun. You should. Um, but don't, um, don't get complacent here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get complacent. We, we've got to continue to prepare. Uh, the people who are ignoring this, uh, the people who are not protecting their money, the people who are not getting defensive right now, the people who are not working on security, people who are not working on their health, people who are not working on their spirituality, uh, these are all assets that you're going to need in the worst of times, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave it there this weekend. God bless all of you. Have a phenomenal weekend. Make sure you subscribe and uh, make sure that you, you do put some balance in your life, but also take this weekend and add to your preparations. Anything that you think that you, that you need to add to, it's a perfect weekend to do that. Don't be oblivious like a lot of the people out here golfing this weekend who have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, these people will be the ones knocking at your door or knocking at my door. When, when the lights go out, I guarantee it. So I'm not gonna be working on my golf game this weekend. Uh, I'll be training tonight and uh, probably uh, working on some more preparations uh, this weekend. And of course, always uh, absorbing as much knowledge and looking at the data so I can report it to you. Uh, God bless all of you. Have a great weekend.